Hey folks, Pepper Princess. Okay, so today's video is gonna be about making laundry soap. I made a video about laundry soap about a year and a half ago and that's how long my laundry soap has lasted so far. I remember in my last video I had my hair down. It was 110 degrees in the garage where I am now and you can see just like the sweat dripping off my face while I'm trying to make laundry soap. So um, there were a lot of questions and a lot of comments regarding that video on different things about the laundry soap. So the way that it works is that you buy yourself either Zote, Zote soap, okay, or Fells Naphtha soap. This is made by Purex. And these are each 99 cents or 98 cents uh, at Walmart. You can get them pretty much anywhere, Walgreens, whatever, and they're all about the same price. They're gonna cost you about a dollar. And what you do is you take the bar, it can be either bar, and then you just grind it down using a cheese grater. And this is what it looks like. It looks like cheese once it's grated. I do the full bar, okay, and that's what it looks like. So you need one bar of that, you're gonna need one cup of 20 Mule Team Borax Detergent Booster, all right? This is, this is an all-natural thing. They've been making it since 1891, multi-purpose household cleaner. And then you're gonna need super washing soda. I finally ran out of super washing soda. This is not baking soda. This is washing soda. It's different, so don't use the baking soda in, in exchange for the washing soda. It's a big difference. So, um, and then you're going to need a five gallon bucket and a lot of hot water, super hot. It's steaming hot. So here is my five gallon bucket and it really only takes a few minutes to make this stuff. And again, it's lasted a year and a half. Uh, and there were a lot of comments about clumping that happened afterwards. And I'm going to go ahead and address that. But first I'm going to go ahead and make this. So let me get these things out of the way here. Okay, so I've got my empty five gallon Home Depot bucket. I'm just gonna take the shavings of the soap and just dump it in there, very easy. And then I'm gonna take the one cup of 20 Mule Team Borax. By the way, I've had this for about 10 years. Since it only takes one cup to make it and they don't make these any smaller, I still have some left. It's about, it's still up to about here. I did finally run out of washing soda because it's a smaller box but I need to go and get some more. So we're gonna take our one cup of borax and just dump it in. Very easy to do. We're gonna take our one cup of washing soda and just dump it in. Very easy to do, right? And then this is super hot water, and I'm gonna put this on the ground. Well, yeah, I'll put that on the ground. See if I can do that. Oh, can you see it a little bit? Okay, this is super hot, so I gotta be careful. See all the steam coming out? Next one. And this is a huge money saver. Um, I used to love Gain. Gain was my favorite, so uh, favorite soap. And this does, you know, if you're going to be honest about it, it's not going to do the same job as store-bought soap. Those store-bought soaps, they've been doing that stuff for years and years and years. So they're experts at making that type of thing. And I do know that this is good for HE washers. I don't know about front load washers. So here is the trick to keep it from clumping. One scoop, one top scoop of this stuff, or what I like to do because I'm such a gain freak, I loved gain, I got this at the 99 cent store. It's 99 cents, and it's one of those little travel ones, and you can use this once it's done. I put that in there too. I put in the whole thing, not just a cap full. I put in the whole kit and caboodle in there. Kit and caboodle, okay. So you're gonna wanna stir it. Uh, let me grab something to stir it with. Hold on one second. Okay, so I propped it up a little bit better so you guys can see it. I'm going to add a little bit more water till it gets to the brim, but in the meantime, I'm going to use a rake because I don't have a stir stick. And I'm just going to give it a quick stir. It's going to make the cheese on top sort of, you know, disperse within the rest of it, <laughs> which is a good thing. And it's going to turn probably a greenish-yellow color. 
And I'll show you guys tomorrow. What you have to do is you have to leave the hot water in, give it a good stir, and then leave it overnight. Okay. And then I'll show you guys what happens to it overnight. It's going to, it right now it's very watery and it looks like it's just got some cheese on top. Um, but that's going to change overnight. It's going to solidify and turn into a more of a gelatinous consistency. And, um, I'm just going to keep stirring this for about five minutes and add a little bit more water and I will come back and show you guys what it looks like tomorrow. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, one last thing I forgot to mention, cover it. When you leave it overnight after you've stirred it, <laughs> cover it. <laughs> Just a quick tip. Okay, folks, it is the next morning and we are back to check on the laundry soap. It's probably gonna be a little bit hardened, but not nearly what you would see if you weren't to use the laundry soap. So that's the trick. And the reason I didn't use the laundry soap trick on my last video is because I didn't know about it. I apologize for the shakiness, but just getting ready here to show you. So here is the consistency of what you're going to get. And I, I will, I'm not afraid of it. I'll stick my hands in there and get rid of any of the clumps that are there just by squeezing them. But it's a very, very easy consistency to use. It feels like slime right now. But it's very similar to laundry soap. It's going to have a couple of clumps. And, it, you know, the clumps, you can just sit here and squeeze them out, which isn't really a big deal. You can stir them out. Or you can just leave them in, and then you can put them in the laundry, and they'll dissolve in the water. It's not really a big deal. Don't worry, I'm going to wash my hands right after this. But this is pretty much what it looks like. It's pretty consistent and not too bad at all. And then, um, ah, gooey hands, gooey hands. Anyway. So it's pretty consistent and it stays in the five gallon bucket. If you guys live in an apartment, don't worry, got you covered. So uh, what you do is you just take one of these. Now the thing about these is I get them at the recycling center. You can go to literally any recycling center and they've got a bazillion of them. There is no redemption value on them, but people will still take them to the recycling. So every time I go to the recycling center, I'll be like, can I have some laundry detergent bottles? And they'll, they don't just say yes, they say how many. And they'll bring you 10 or 20 if you want them. And a five gallon bucket will fill out, fill up about 12 of those. You can get more or less, whatever. And then if you live in an apartment and you don't have the space for all this stuff, you can use one teaspoon of washing soda, one teaspoon of borax, and a little tiny, tiny little bit of the soap. Put it in the, the used empty bottle, and then fill it with boiling hot water, shake it, and then leave it overnight. Okay, and then you'll just have, you can do one bottle at a time, or you can do five gallons at a time, no big deal. Another thing is that <clears throat> a company had sent me these little washi things. Uh, to do a review, and this, this is going to be a bit of a review. I will leave the link in the description, but these are pretty cool. Let me let me put my tripod on just one second. Okay, so they sent me these a couple of weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, and I've been using them. I use them religiously, and I think they're really cool. What they are are these little mesh pouches, and they have a little zipper on them that zips them open and closed, and you put your bras and underwear in there so that they do not get caught in the darn washing machine agitator, which is really annoying. As you guys know, it stretches out your bras. It does it to some people's underwear too, but not mine, but it stretches out your bras and underwear in these little mesh baggies. You, it's very simple. You just put them in the mesh baggies and then you put them in the laundry, just like that. And then you put in the soap and you do a regular load and when they come out, your bras and underwear are not wrapped around this thing or wrapped around your clothes. So um, the company was nice enough to send them to me. They're 10 bucks and you get three. You get two of the smaller ones and then you get a large one for jackets and things like that. So you can definitely use these and I think they're great. Um, probably my favorite little gizmo that I've got going on right now. So my bras are not getting stretched out. So uh, if you guys are interested in those little handbaggies, I will leave a link in the description. And they're very self-explanatory. They're just mesh bags with zippers and they do what they're intended to do. They keep your bras and underwear from getting uh, all messed up. Now one other, one last thing about the laundry soap. Um, it is laundry soap. It is not laundry detergent. There is a little bit of a difference, okay? Laundry detergent has benzoyl peroxide and alpha hydroxy, acid, alpha hydroxy acids, which 
are ingredients that agitate your clothes and have bleaching agents in them. This soap is not like that. It doesn't have bleaching agents or hard, harsh, harsh chemicals, you could say. So it's just going to clean your clothes. If you work a hard like construction job and you're super dirty every day, this soap might not be for you. Okay, You're going to need some sort of hard abrasive detergent. If you work in an office or you know, you've got a whole bunch of kids, this is going to save you a ton of money and it's still going to get your clothes really clean. So um, anybody can do this. It's super easy. I mean like three ingredients. You can't really beat that. Four if you include water. Totally easy to do. And oh, for you folks in Australia, um, I apologize. So there was a bit of confusion on what super washing soda is. So before I get out of here, um, today is grandma day, so I've got to get going. I'm trying to find out what it is. Well, you can visit armandhammer.com to find out what it is because it doesn't say what it is. It's just washing soda. Because I don't think that the, you guys have this in Australia, but there's got to be an alternative. There's got to be. But it's just washing soda. And then with the borax, this is made here in California, in Boron, Boron, California. The borax is a sodium tetraborate, which is a natural mineral. mineral. <clears throat> so that's what this is, sodium tetraborate. All right. <clears throat> So, like I said, you guys, if I can do it, anybody can do it. It's a great way to save money. Do what you can with what you've got. Prepper Princess out.